Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to cover how you can integrate any app images you have downloaded into your desktop environment's application launcher. So if you've never heard of app images before, uh, simply put, they're a standalone application that runs external to your package manager and bundles all the dependencies within itself. Normally when you install an application in Linux, you use a package manager, which searches for all the packages that make up the application and any required dependencies for the application to work correctly. An app image, on the other hand, is external, and it's not related to a package manager or a repository, which in turn allows it to run on virtually any Linux distribution. However, it does mean that by default, it will not be integrated with your installation and not appear in your distribution's de desktop environment application launcher. This is where App Image Launcher comes in. This piece of software will integrate App Images into your application launcher with one click and then allow you to manage, update and remove them. Typically on first execution, the App Image Launcher will ask the user whether to run the app image once or to move it to a predetermined location and then add it to the application's launcher. So the installation method will vary depending on your distribution. For example, if you're using an Arch-based distribution, you can install App Image Launcher straight from the AUR, or if you're using a Ubuntu-based distribution, you can use a PPA instead. In my particular case, I'm running Kubuntu 21.04, so I'm going to be using the PPA method. So, open up a terminal and type the following in sequence. sudo add-app repository ppa app image launcher dash team slash stable. And what this will do, it will add the app image launcher repository to your system. Next, we need to refresh the repository list, include the one we just added, and you can do that with sudo apt update. Finally, we can actually install app image launcher with the following command, which is sudo apt install app image launcher. So now that app image launcher is installed, we need to download an app image and double click it to launch it. For this example, I'm going to be using Belena Etcher. You should now be prompted by a desktop integration window. What we want to do is click the integrate and run option. The two things will happen now. The app image will be moved to a new location, which in my case, it gets moved to home Ryan applications. And also the app image will now appear in your distribution's application launcher. At this point, you can launch the app image in the same manner as any other installed application. And if you ever want to remove the entry, then simply just de delete the app image from the applications folder. In summary, app images are a great solution for people using Linux distributions that use static releases such as Ubuntu, as this will allow you to get the latest version of software without risking getting stuck in dependency hell or having to compile the software in question from scratch. Plus, when you use an application such as App Image Launcher, it does keep everything nice and tidy in your application launcher. So with that, it brings this video to an end. Thanks for watching guys, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, check out the rest of the content on the channel, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye now.